All right, welcome back to another video. This video is gonna be on just building a basic authentication system for your existing or new Laravel 8 project. I'm gonna show you the simplest way to do it, the currently correct way to do it. It's gone through a lot of changes over the years, but currently we use Laravel Breeze to just build basic authentication. Before I get started, I'm gonna go through like a sample project. Uh, I just wanna mention that in Laravel 5.4, when I started using Laravel, we were using PHP Artisan Make Auth. It was a command within Laravel that would generate the login, register routes, uh, views, controllers, validation, migrations, everything we need basically. That was then extracted for whatever reason into a, a package. Currently lives in Laravel UI, which you can see here. Now it is, uh, it is, it does support Laravel 8, but it is marked as a legacy package. Uh, I'm not sure what happened here. There was a lot of talk on Twitter about it, but I don't really understand. Uh, I just know that the original Laravel UI stuff or the make auth stuff was bootstrap based. And I guess now it's bootstrap, but also view and react with bootstrap. Uh, if you're into this, you could use it. I mean, I don't know how long it'd be supported, but the, the newest, almost like spiritual successor to this is Laravel Breeze. And Breeze is great. So let me go through Breeze. Breeze basically just provides everything you need for basic authentication. It's uh, by default based on Blade and Tailwind CSS, so it, it like uses Blade components. You can opt to use Vue, uh, Vue or React, and that by default will force you to use Inertia.js to kind of uh, bridge the front end to, with the back end. We also have the option of using Jetstream. Now, if, if you're really looking into, uh, into authentication systems, Jetstream is an option. Jetstream is more feature packed, I guess you could say. It, it builds on top of Breeze in a lot of ways. It, you know, it offers things like session management, API support, using something Lar called Laravel Sanctum, which is a topic for a whole di different video. Uh, it, it has team management. We don't need any of this stuff for this video and most people looking for basic authentication probably don't need that either. And so uh, it also offers Tailwind CSS and Inertia and Livewire, and, and it's very similar to Breeze. It just offers a bunch more stuff. But for this video, I think we're gonna use Breeze. So let me just go ahead and create a new project here. Let's call it Laravel New Authentication Demo. Uh, truth be told, I know that this is going to create a project with authentication underscore demo as the table name. So I've just gone ahead and created that beforehand here. Once that's done installing, I can just CD into it here. And let me clear the terminal. And now uh, I'm just gonna valet link and valet secure. This is just something for my local. So it looks like that's done. And now if I click this link, it should take me to a local Laravel fresh project and it does. You can see I'm running Laravel 8.44 on PHP version 8.0.3. And what we wanna do now is install Breeze itself. And so if you're looking into the documentation here, there is a very simple composer command. Composer require Laravel Breeze as a dev dependency because we're just gonna be basically publishing the assets within the, uh, the package into our project. And that is now installed. We can now use the command php artisan breeze install. And that's already installed. So we can copy this and run npm install and npm run dev. This will install our uh, npm dependencies and then run and compile the front end. Now this may take a while, so uh, let's start now. Okay, looks like that's finished up. The last thing we have to do is just run migrations. So PHP artisan migrate. Remember that the uh, the migrations we need for authentication were published with this when we published the stuff in the package. And if we go back to our database now, or table, we see our, our failed jobs, migrations, password resets, and users tables were migrated. So this is where most of our attention will be focused. ID, name, email, uh, password, and remember token. I mean, this is all you need for a basic authentication system, so it is pretty cool. And now if, uh, if we go back to our demo site here, we can see that we have a login link and a register link. Let's go ahead and register. So I'm gonna use uh, oops, David, david at test.com. Password, password. And we're logged in. So you can see this uh, Breeze comes with this nice dashboard here that you can opt to use or not use. It's your choice. Uh, Logout works. We can also log in. So david at test.com. That logs us in. And so let me go through the actual project and show you how this works. Maybe we could create a demo route that we could secure. So let me clear this. 
This will open it up in VS Code for me. Okay, and so the app looks the same. I mean, from the outside, you can't really tell that anything's been done, but if you go into the app HTTP controllers and auth directory here, you can see that there's a whole bunch of authentication related controllers that were created. We just use the register user controller to register. And so it's really good to just explore these when you, when you install it, just to get a feel for how they're written and how to kind of leverage them in your project. We use the auth.register route to register, and that's where the actual form is. Um, if we actually click into there, you could see that, uh, like I was saying before, everything is set up with uh, blade components. So it's very neat. Uh, it's a really, really great system. And I, I really do like using it in my projects. Very easy to extend and also kind of reuse bits and pieces of. Once we actually submit the form and our account is being stored as an account, our user is created, the registered event is fired off, and then uh, our user is authenticated or logged in, and we are redirected to whatever is the value of route service provider's home constant. So let's see what that is. And we could see that the constant is set to slash dashboard, and that's why we were redirected to the dashboard uh, right after registering. What is interesting about logging in is that if you're trying to access a route that's not slash dashboard, and it, you're not logged in, once you do log in correctly, it will just redirect you to wherever you were trying to go anyways. So uh, as far as I can see, this is really only used for uh, registering, maybe password reset. Another couple interesting things here is actually in the web file. As you can see, our slash dashboard route is right here. And it looks very simple. I mean, there's nothing really in here. So you're, I wonder to myself, where's the, all the authentication stuff? And this is probably the one complaint I have with this compared to the old uh, PHP artisan make auth system. Before we had something like route auth that would register all the authentication routes. And I thought that that was nice and simple. What's been done this time around, it just requires an auth.php file. If you open up this file here, you'll see that all the authentication routes are here uh, and you can modify them to whatever you want. They're in the routes folder right beside web.php. And you can see that the routes that are secured with the, with the auth middleware are the ones that will require you to log in to see them. And I could demonstrate this by using just the welcome route. So right now, if I, I'm logged in, okay. If I copy this and go to just the home route, you could see that I can see it. Uh, if I just throw the middleware on there, save that, I can still see it because I am logged in. You can see that I'm logged in because I have the option to go to the dashboard. If I log out of here and try to refresh this, it'll try to force me to log in. And like I was saying earlier, if I log in trying to go to get to the home route and I do successfully log in, it'll take me to the home route nice and easy. Uh, if you are new to Laravel and you want to kind of group these together, you totally can. And the way this is done is by just removing these middleware things uh, and making a route group. So route, middleware, auth. This is a little bit outside the scope of authentication, but I think it is good to show. So anything within, within this function here, any route rather, We'll have the uh, auth middleware check done on, on the route. So we can definitely see that still working by logging out again here and trying again to get into this one. Of course, we can log in like before. And everything will still work. So there are some other cool features, password reset, password confirmation. You do need email to be set up to test that. Um, and the documentation does list that, so you can check that out if you want. But the basic gist of it is you just need uh, Laravel Breeze to set up an authentication system. I hope this video was helpful. Please do let me know below if you have any questions or any comments on this. Um, and once again, thanks to everyone for watching. I'm glad you're enjoying. Uh, I think I'm gonna switch a little bit to Tailwind videos in the coming weeks. Uh, I just wanna give Laravel a break. Um, so yeah, thanks again, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video.